ओके गाइस इट्स मी इमाद फ्रॉम नेल्सन डार्विन पार्क टेक यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन दिस वीडियो ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ टू यूज ए पुश बटन विद इन दी जावा जी यू आई प्रोग्राम सो हाउ वी कैन डू दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू क्रिएट अ जावा प्रोजेक्ट सो क्लिक ऑन दैट वी कैन राइट एनी नेम ओके जस्ट लाइक जूलू वन ओके then we need to click on next and then on finish after this is done go for project that is zulu one right click on src folder and click on new click on class and it will create a class for us okay so we can write beta one is our class name and we can also use to take this public static void man so click on finish so now our main programming window are is generated okay so you can see that we have one public static void main function and package name and also there is class that is beta1 now first of all in order to create a gui and push button we need to import certain classes so we will write import java dot awt dot event dot static so this class is used for event okay just like a push button and click and all these things okay now we need to import second class that is import java x dot swing that is also used for to create a gui especially for graphics so these two are our classes and we have just imported these now we will go for our what's called is the wide main function and we need to write our code so first we need to create our main frame so the class we have used for to create the frame of gui is j frame f j frame we can write f okay f is equal to new j frame okay okay now here we need to write our text that is push button frame now what this line of code will do j frame is a class okay with the help of this class we can create an instance variable which is f okay we can also write it as f or frame okay frame underscore zero okay so we can also write this name okay it is not always necessary to use certain specific name okay we can write this thing so we we have created this thing is equal to new j frame and and with the help of this new keyword we have created an frame okay and its name is now frame underscore zero and the text written on this frame is push button frame okay and now after this we need to create our push button on this main frame so we will write a class that is called as j button okay and you should have to take care about the uh, spellings okay j button this is our one of the class and we will write btn one is equal to new j button same thing new new j button and and what sort of text we, we need to write on it we will write click okay so so this text will be written on our push button obviously j button is a specified or built-in class for to create a button object means that button and what's the name of that button that is btn1 so btn1 is that 
is that instance variable for a specific button which we are going to create. Now after this is done, we need to mention the size as well as the geographic location of the button on the frame. Obviously frame of GUI is some, some space okay and on that space or on that GUI frame our button needs to be on some specific point. So we will write sorry btn1 because now our our button is btn1 dot set bounds dot set bounds so it is our set bounds okay so what are they we, we can write like uh, 100 100 and 95 and 30 okay now what are these things actually these the first two numbers that is 100 and 100 are the coordinates point that is x and y on x axis its uh, value is 100 and on y axis its value is also 100 and 95 is its uh, length and 30 is the width of the button push button okay so after this is done okay now we can we run this program yes we can run it out okay although we can't see the gui but still we can run this program okay now now we will go for certain other things and which are like we will right here frame frame underscore zero because at this point we can't see the gui so so we we need to write frame underscore zero dot eight eight btn underscore one okay or uh, sorry it's just one okay so frame underscore zero frame underscore zero dot eight and then we can write btn one okay so this is our program now one more thing that uh, okay now can we run it out okay what, what they are saying okay okay we, we need to do one more thing that we are going for some action listener program okay frame underscore zero dot eight underscore just btn1 it's a btn1 yes okay it's just btn1 so we need to write btn variable declare id to complete former parameters list okay so okay before going towards this thing we, we can go for some action related things okay okay so or, or, or we can go for one more thing that is called as the okay uh, it is in the class oh, okay yes okay we we have not we must have to write it in the wired man function body okay rather than going here and there so so we need to put it in the main function body okay so it is working fine now now we need to set the size of our frame of gui so frame underscore zero dot set size okay wait dot set size 300 dash 300 okay so length and width of the gui okay now after this is done we need to set the layout frame sorry it's a f r a m e frame dot set layout okay frame dot set layout and it, it it must be null 
so we need to write null and it's frame underscore zero because we have written this thing and frame underscore zero dot visible okay because visibility because uh, we have to set it to true this property or otherwise we are unable to see our uh, what's called as the GUI okay so so we have to write frame underscore zero dot set visible now when we press ok we can see our GUI and push button but still it is not doing anything why it is so because we have to go for some action related functions so here in the void main function we can write btn1 this is now action related thing okay so btn1 dot add action okay add action listener so this is a function okay this is a built-in function for our push button and it is inside inside its parameters okay inside the parameters of this function but these are called as the par parameter brackets we will write another function okay so we will write new new action and listener okay new action listener so one is add action listener and one is new action listener new action listener okay and it also has its parameter related brackets so it is new action listener so one is add action listener and one is one is add action listener and one is new action listener now we, we inside the inside this bracket okay okay we, we 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 need to make the body of the second function and here we will write public void okay public okay, okay we we can shift this bracket to below because it is creating some mess so we will write it like this okay so new action listener so here we will write public void action perform that is public void public void action perform per performed and again because this is also our what's called as a function public void public void action perform so it's in inside its brackets we will write action event action event e okay so this is our first thing okay now so one thing is that that new where is our new okay so this is okay so this is our bracket okay now action perform so one is button one dot eight action and action event e and action performed we, we, we can go for like this okay now action event e okay now after this action event one more bracket two more brackets for the body so this one and this is the this is for button one dot listener okay and this is for this thing so now we will write here public void action 
performed okay public void action performed okay now we will go for that what what needs to be print on the output screen so here we will write system dot out dot print ln system dot out dot print ln that button is click button is okay now at this side new action listener okay so okay okay you you should have to write this like this okay because you should have to create a space in between new and action listener program okay so now we will run the program okay now when we, we will click our push button it will say button is clicked because action listener is listing the function and action performed is printing the button is clicked string on the output screen so hopefully you got the concept that how we can use a push button within java gui so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe